Hey everybody, how's it going? So today I got in the mail something that I have been wanting for a very long time. And when I found out they were reissuing this box set, I'm like, I gotta bite the bullet. I have to pick this up. I want these albums so bad. I'm talking about the Rolling Stones mono box set. So I'm gonna do, I don't usually do an unboxing unboxing, but today I'm actually gonna do an unboxing. So it came to me in Amazon, this enormous refrigerator sized box. And then inside the big box was this little box. And I have to give Amazon credit. Like they have meticulously, look at, they've even got like this foam in here to protect it. And it's just, this is like $450. So I'm, I'm glad they went through all the trouble to pack it like they did. And then you open it up and look at that beauty. So I'm going to take this, pry it out of here. This is it. Now, for those of you who don't know, these are the Rolling Stones Abco albums up to Let It Bleed in mono, the UK, and the American versions. Where there was duplication, they didn't include the American version, for instance. The first album, England's Newest Hitmakers, is not in here, and also the US version of Between the Buttons is not, but all the other albums are represented here. And so I... Going to take off the shrink here, and I'm going to try and save that hype sticker that says the Rolling Stones in color. These are all on colored vinyl. So this is going to be the unboxing, and maybe at some point I'll do an actual review of it. So it opens up like this, and then you have the albums like that. Sorry about kind of the clumsiness of this video, but I'll try and do my best. Um, this is the booklet. One of my disappointments is that this is not a hardcover booklet. I mean, why not? When you're investing in a package this size, why not? But this is the first album, Rolling Stones, just called The Rolling Stones in America. This was England's newest hit makers. And they come in these resealable sleeves. I'm just going to open one of them up. I'm not going to open every single one and show the uh, vinyl for it. But I will for this one because it's the first one. This comes in a cardboard sleeve. And then you open it up. And you've got the Red Deca label, which signifies that it is in mono. Um, and, yeah, I mean, these sleeves are of the same stock that the Beatles in mono set was in. Uh, the printing is very clear here, uh, which I love. So that is the first one. And you've got 12 by 5. And this cover should look familiar. This is the Rolling Stones number two. The back of this cover looks like the Rolling Stones now. It said now here on the American version, which I will show you momentarily because that's one of the albums that is included with this set. There we go. Rolling Stones now with the gold lettering here. And just, uh, it does include uh, the... Uh, they're the liner notes. Um, on number two, it includes the part about the blind man, but on that uh, pressing, it does not. If you know what I'm talking about, the controversial liner notes by Andrew Lou Oldham. Then we've got Out of Our Heads, The Rolling Stones. When was the last time you saw a copy of Out of Our Heads that didn't have ring wear on it or looked all beat up? So it's very nice to have a clean copy of that one. Then we've got the British out of our heads with the back that looks like the back of December's Children, which is the next album in the set. Then 
Then Aftermath. The UK Aftermath. And then the American Aftermath. Then Between the Buttons, and I actually picked up a stereo copy of the UK Between the Buttons and a stereo copy of the UK Aftermath uh, recently. Uh, I don't know if they're reissuing these separately, uh, but those seem to be the first releases that we got. Then Flowers in Mono, which was an American-only release. And I was wondering if it was going to be the lenticular cover of their Satanic Majesties, but it's not. But that's okay, because I already have a lenticular cover. But this does still have the gatefold, uh, which is cool. So I'm fine with that. Then Beggar's Banquet, which was not originally issued in mono, but they do have... I think the only song in true mono, if I'm not mistaken, is Sympathy for the Devil. The rest, I think, are fold-down mono versions. Then Let It Bleed. And I'm going to open this up because, uh, well, one of the things I noticed that's different is that is on the back uh, there. But I'm wondering if this, they, this comes with the poster. I don't see any poster in here, so that's kind of a bummer, but I do like this inner sleeve. Very cool. And we'll check the vinyl out on that one. Nice red vinyl. So, no poster, but you can't always get what you want. As one of my favorite bands said and then this is a um, double album set here this is called stray cats and this collects all the a's and b-sides and alternate stuff that was not on the original uk albums one thing i didn't realize is 19th nervous breakdown was not on any uk or u.s studio album so i always thought that was interesting but it is on here this is a uh, double album so that is very cool so yeah, that is my Stones box set. So can't wait to throw these on the turntable and spin them, but I wanted to uh, do a little unboxing and show you what the set looks like. So anyway, have a great day and take care.